What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Telfar brand. Um, I'm gonna talk specifically about the medium shopper bag. I'm gonna give you the tea on the bag. I'm gonna let you know if it's worth it. Uh, as far as quality details, I'll give you all that information. So if you're interested, keep watching. No, I really can't complain. Okay, guys, so again, we're going to be talking about the Telfar Medium Shopper Bag. Now, as you all know, this bag has been like the it bag for the past couple years. And I will admit, when it came out, I wasn't really sold on it. It wasn't something that I had to have. I mean, I thought it was okay, but I mean, it was all right. I didn't really know much about it. I'm a visual person, so... Um, I don't get caught up with things online. I needed to be able to hold it in my hand. So I saw it, but I just kind of kept it moving. But just a little background on the bag. Um, the owner is uh, Telfar Clemens. <laughs> I got my little handy dandy notes. And um, he started his company in 2005. Um, he created that logo, the signature T that you've seen, and I'll pop a picture up on the screen so y'all can see it. Um, he created that in 2005 when he was at Pace University. So that's a little bit of insight on it. I thought that was kind of cool. So he's had this brand since then. We're just now in the last couple of years uh, knowing about the brand. And the bag became popular in maybe 2020, I want to say. That's when I kind of started seeing it. Um, I know Oprah had put it on her favorite things. And I always look at that list every year. I still wasn't really sold on it. And then you had your girl Beyonce. You know, she was on vacation. She had the bag walking. I still was like, mm, it's okay. Now, where I live at, I live in North Carolina. Um, I'm originally from New Jersey. So, some things we don't get. You know what I'm saying? Some things we don't see. I'll, be, I'll say it. Nobody else wants to say it. We don't get everything in Raleigh, okay? We don't see everything. Now, the first time I actually saw one was in a store in the mall. It's a sneaker store. And for some reason, I mean, I guess they were just selling them, but the markup was crazy. They wanted like, it wasn't even the, the biggest one. It was a medium shopper and they wanted like $400 for the bag. So I'm like, nah, I know these bags ain't $400, but the one that I saw, it was blue. It was a nice, I said, well, this is actually pretty nice now that I see it in person. So... Me not knowing anything, because believe it or not, sometimes I don't pay attention to certain stuff, and I didn't know that it was impossible to get this bag. I call myself just going on the website, oh, I'm going to order one. No, you, no you're not. You're not going to order that one. You're not gonna, you are not You can't sold out, sold out. Can't order none of them. They're sold out. So I'm like, well, why are these damn bags so hard to get? I mean, I know, yeah, Beyonce had the bag on, and it was on Oprah, but it's like that. Like, you really can't get it? So I started stalking the site. Like, when I say stalking, signed up with an email. So they were emailing me every week trying to get this bag. So finally, one day, um, a friend of mine, we were both on the site at the same time texting each other in our group chat with one other person. We saw that the green one was on sale when they were going to start selling it. Okay, so we go on the site. I know I was on there at exactly 9 o'clock. She was on there at 9 o'clock. I got the bag, but she didn't. And I think I checked out at like 9 on 1. And by the time she checked out, it was 9 on 2. It was sold completely out. So the bag that I ended up getting that time was the green shopper. And I'm going to just show you real quick. This is the bag. It's the green shopper. And I mean, I actually like this bag a lot. I got it in September, so it was right around fall. So it was perfect uh, for what I needed it for, for the fall. And I could essentially put any anything in this bag. Um, I like how this fits, like the straps fit. The straps are long enough. It fits really good. I'm plus size, I'm a thickums. So to me, the bag fits pretty good. <laughs> Also with the bag, um, it came with a dust bag with it, which I thought that was kind of cool that it came with a dust bag. I, I really, not that it was black owned, but I really didn't have like 
the highest expectation of the bag. I mean, it wasn't, an ex to me, in my opinion, it wasn't super expensive. I mean, I've ordered things from Coach and they came in plastic, not necessarily in the box and not necessarily in a dust bag. So I thought it was pretty nice that they gave you a dust bag with the bag. So it kind of gave you like that, you know what I'm saying? Like that little luxury type experience. You feel like, okay, I got a little dust bag. You know what I'm saying? I could put it up, collect my little tail fezies. So this is the dust bag that it came in. Now I keep my bags in my closet. Um, I don't keep them in the dust bag. Sometimes I put them in there, sometimes I don't, but this is just sitting in my closet. Now this green bag, I love this bag. I can wear this bag with essentially anything, everything. Um, if I'm going like, I don't really go out, I don't do clubs or nothing like that no more, but if I'm going someplace like the dinner, I could wear this bag. Um, if I worked in an environment where you know, I had to have a work bag, I would use this bag. Um, I carry it day to day. I mean, I ain't going out like that right now. So, I mean, if I'm going to Target with my kid or going to the mall, I could stuff her stuff in here, my things, and it's fine. It's a lot of room. This is the medium. Um, there's plenty of room. And I actually love this bag. I think for it to be faux leather, and that's the thing, you gotta look at the site. And look at what this stuff is. And I'm going to say this too. With the bag being faux leather, my expectations of it weren't like, you know, oh my God, I'm getting a little bit time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I really didn't have that, you know, big of an expectation of the bag. But for me, for it to be faux leather with the twill on it, I think it's actually a pretty nice bag. It's, it would be a nice gift for somebody. Um, I know my mother don't watch this, but I'm actually, if a, the right color comes along, I want to get her one for either her birthday or Mother's Day, as long as it's a nice color, something that she likes, or Christmas. Because um, when I wore, when I actually wore this bag and I was with my mother, she really liked it. So I'm going to, I plan to get her one, as long as I can get the color and it's available. Okay, guys. So my final bag I have from them, I only have two. Now... I feel like I only need to, but there are a couple other ones that I did see, a couple colors that I did see that I would like. Um, I bought this specific one for the summer. I thought it would be something I would want for the summer. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I like gold or coppers and things like that. So I kind of was into that color. I don't know why, but my next one, I got that one through the Telfar security program. And the way that security programs work, this is just what I gather from it. <laughs> the way that program works is he will announce, or the company rather will announce, when that you can go on their website. And the last time they did it, I believe they did it for like three days. You can go on their website, you can purchase a bag, but you won't get the bag for like months ahead. So we got, my friend and I, we actually got that bag in... October and we both received it in January around January 15 15th and you know it kind of made me feel a way that I had to do that because I'm just like I don't like waiting for stuff like if I buy something I want it when I buy it but I don't know if they're doing that to keep the hype going I don't know if it's a production issue that part I don't know but it was cool to do the program but I didn't like waiting that long. I mean, two months, okay. You know what I mean? So we got it in October. We got it January 15th. I just wish we would. I could have got it a little sooner. Now this bag is my copper bag. I'm gonna show you this bag. This is how it looks. And this bag also comes with a dust bag as well. Same white cotton dust bag, nothing spectacular about it. Let me show y'all that. Same thing. Same. That's it. But I will say this, and then I'm gonna go back to the bag. They come with these, they come inside of like a giant plastic Ziploc bag. I don't know why I like that bag, that little Ziploc bag. I know it sounds crazy, but I put so much stuff, like I'm a person that always has a lot of papers and crap 
or just always stuffing something somewhere. I love the plastic bag that it comes in. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, so I have this copper bag and I have mixed feelings about the bag. Um, I think it's a nice bag. I do, I think it's really nice. It's the same with the straps. Um, the color is nice. I just feel like it wasn't made like the green bag. The green bag to me, that bag is a little bit more durable. To me, this bag, I feel like I have to be extra careful with it. I've only worn this bag about three, maybe three or four times. Every time I've worn it out, I always get a compliment on the bag. Somebody is always stopping me. How did you get that one? How did you get that one? Or, you know, just want to know about it. So I do like that part of it because it is different. You don't see people really walking around with copper bags. But my issue with it is the quality. I feel like it's just not as good of a faux leather material as the green one. So in the future, because I, I will purchase again from Telfar. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I think that it's a practical bag. I'm just at the point in my life where I need to buy things. Not so much that it's trendy. I mean, even though this is trendy, but to me it's practical. Like I can use it if I work somewhere where I needed a work bag or I could use it to go out with. I could use it as an everyday bag. I could use it to the mall. I took it with me when I, one of them with me when I went to Disney, the green one, when I went to Disney World. So. To me, it is practical in that sense. But I would stay away from the metallic looking ones. They do have one that is silver, I saw. And I believe they have one that's like a, a gold and I saw like some kind of blue metallic looking. I would kind of stay away from that. I just feel like I have to be careful with it. Like I'm gonna scratch it and the scratch is gonna show. So I really don't like that aspect of it but it is nice it is pretty um it is a pretty bag but i just wouldn't get anything metallic again from them now in the future i do want to try the smaller one i was a little against getting a smaller one i am a bigger woman <laughs> so i'm like that's not gonna fit around my waist or my shoulder I, I ain't got time for that but i am seeing more people with it i know it has the handles but i don't necessarily carry my bags in my hand like that not unless i'm carrying my speedy bag and that said everything else is just on my shoulder or i have a bunch of shoulder bags except for the, the speedies that i no. have now, I do want to get an azalea medium. I am looking to get an azalea medium. And I saw a pretty blue, not the metallic, but like a navy blue. Um, if I were to do black, um, I would probably get it in the biggest one and use that one to travel with. Like if I was, you know, going on a plane, that would be a good carry-on bag. I would use it specifically for that. But other than that, um, I don't care for the circular, the round ones that they sell. I'll pop a picture up so y'all can see that too. I don't really care for that. Um, because I just don't like the shape of it. I don't like round bags like that. Kind of reminds me, I think it's a ho of a hobo bag and I don't really care. I, ha I actually have some older hobo bags. I have an older Marc Jacobs older hobo bag. That's the only one I have. And I'll never get rid of it because I like that particular bag, but um, I don't like how that bag is shaped, so I would probably never get that. We have a collection with Ugg, and those bags are really nice, and they're medium shoppers as well, and it's made with the Ugg material, so those are really nice. They actually have another section, I think it's called Mongoose or Goose Knuckles. Girl, I, I can't remember the name of it. I will pop a picture of that one up as well. <laughs> But they are really nice bags. Um, I do think it's worth the quality. I think it's okay at the price point. Um, this bag, those two bags were $200 a piece. I wouldn't pay over that. That's just my personal opinion. Um, the smaller one, I feel like the smaller one should be a little bit cheaper than $150. Um, it's really, really small. I've seen one in person and I'm like, that, damn, that's $150? I feel like it should be $100. That's just my opinion. But, you know, that's what he wants to set his price at. You know, that's what it is. I mean, if you don't, you can't get one, most people are going to just go on, you know, go to a reseller or, you know, 
try to find one online somewhere else. So, you know, that's the price that he has to set at. But me personally, I do think for that small one, $150 is, is a lie. I think he could come down a little bit more. That's just my opinion. Okay, guys, that concludes our video today. Thanks so much for coming by and watching this video. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, okay? So you can be notified when I upload content. Also, let's engage down below. Let me know if you have any Telfar bags, how you feel about the brand, and if you plan on ever purchasing any bags if you don't have any. Also, don't forget to go over to Instagram. Follow me over there. All my pages will be linked below. Thanks so much for watching. Peace and blessings.